Hello my lovelies and welcome to another vlog, a very very like casual friendly one. I have not got one single drop of makeup on, I have traveled, we are in Paris and I just wanted to start a vlog to greet you guys because I love when I arrive somewhere to immediately go straight to you lot and kind of like tell you what is going on. So what's going on? We're in Paris and I have to say like arriving in Paris is always so beautiful for several reasons which are obvious but one of the reasons is actually everything is so familiar to me especially when I stay around like the sort of kind of like eight or the first area because that's where I used to live and I know how to move I feel almost like at home is that weird I think that's kind of weird but anyway I arrived I already ran on the street can you believe that I ran into some friends I've been in Paris for like an hour yeah we are actually in town for Chanel and tomorrow we will be discovering something really exciting at least I think so because the chemistry and the science nerd inside of me always thinks things like that are exciting yep it's going to be like very intense 24 hours and I'm gonna bring you with me but first things first I actually wanted to plan what I'm gonna wear tomorrow so let's have a little look okay I got my suitcase here let me see I don't even know what the password is to be very honest with you guys thank god otherwise I wouldn't have been able to function for the next few days I'm gonna unpack some stuff from this suitcase because I have to okay so I'm trying to understand what I want to actually wear tomorrow I don't want it to be too intense because today is gonna be very long so I want to stay comfortable but I also want to look cute and be on brand I have my Chanel jeans this is really really cute by the way what I'm wearing right now are my favorite Tatam jeans and the Kate Nate I will tag them both below so got the really nice jeans not this right right now maybe my white kate knit you know the cashmere one with the polo that i love dearly it's so beautiful this could be a cute look i also brought and i plan on wearing for the first time my chanel 22 i'm just gonna put some things out now and then tomorrow we can properly plan it when we wake up or the breakfast and you know all that good stuff well i have a few options but i really need to kind of plan it a little bit better now let's take it easy since i just arrived obviously one very important thing before i forget we got some really nice welcome goodies shall we unbox them together i'm quite excited to be honest to see what's inside first of all i love this tote it's like a cloth tote that i can just like bring my laptop and stuff like that around the city guys can't see me can you let's sit here so we can see better so there's a really cute note from chanel love it it's so instagrammable it says welcome to paris we look forward to seeing you tomorrow at our innovation research and development center in Pantin, where you will discover how for Chanel beauty is intrinsically integrated. We wish you a very pleasant stay. Let's see. I love the tote. Did I already say that? Because I really love it. You guys ask me where you can buy these totes. They're usually not for sale and I know that's quite annoying to be honest but it's just really cute. I got, I already have this actually which I'm so happy about that I got too because I love it. This perfect sort of like almost like cotton terry cloth incredible towel. Let me come closer so you guys can see the material better because I don't know how to describe this material but it's a really amazing towel. I I love it and actually we are here to discover more about the sublimage range of chanel this is it is their most luxurious range that they've put a lot of research and development into now let's unbox this to understand what we got without breaking the nail because I my nails nail one is like in a week this is so beautiful hold on look at this it's a beautiful sort of like a makeup beauty pouch inside there's a loofah or like a washing thing it's not a loofah it's actually for your face to remove the makeup oh my god God. radiance revealing rich cleansing soap i think i'm gonna try this tonight and then there is i think this is like to put your hair oh i love look at this to put your hair behind your ears kind of thing and another little towel do you know anything more luxurious than this honestly this is so cute so gorgeous thank you so much chanel i am beyond excited to be here with you of course i don't know how to put this back in but i mean it is what it is anyway it's beautiful Ta -da! love it okay i think i'm gonna have a shower and i'm gonna have an early night in because like i said tomorrow we're gonna spend a lot of time together good morning guys i hope you can see me well this morning we're getting ready it's going to be a very long day it's pouring with rain i just brushed my hair and basically i was like i'll probably put it back because i want it to be sleek and chic 
if possible. One thing that I brought with me on this trip is this uh, set of brushes from Chanel. I'll try and link it below if I can find it. I got a purple one. And actually the brushes are so good. There are three brushes inside. There's this one that I've been using for powder. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, this one. And I love this case to carry it around. There's a foundation one that we're gonna use this morning as well that looks like this. And then there's this one. It's like a fluffy brush on one side and on the other side it's another like more like light fluffy brush i think this is incredible set to be very honest with you i didn't think i was gonna like it as much as i do i like it way more than i thought i was gonna like it i'm gonna start in with the foundation and i'm using light reflecting foundation from nars that's just what i have with me right now okay and i'm gonna blend it in with this brush over here so the plan for today as you guys know i told you yesterday is we're basically going one hour away from paris to a lab to discover all of these like scientific things about Chanel I suppose to be my skincare range I don't know that much I didn't want to get everything spoiled so I just know that it'll be quite scientific and to be very honest with you guys when it comes to skincare all I care about you guys know this already are ingredients I care what it does I care what is it based on research and development and I care about the research papers like where does it prove that it, like how did you conduct the research that is saying that this product does that that's what I'm often quite interested in. I don't know if I actually mentioned this much on my YouTube channel because my friends know this and family etc. But at university I really put a lot of effort and time. Like in the fourth year you can choose like special subjects that not the whole year does. So like only like few of you will do. And I chose two that were quite particular. One was medicinal plants which is kind of like based on the... might sound a little bit technical but understanding like the secondary derivatives of the plants or like the good properties let's say that we can use for treating something or for supplements or for whatever it is in certain plants and how it all works and what plants etc 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 so that was one that i chose and the second one that i chose was actually to do with researches and how to read them how to conduct them properly like i really went into this okay like i went deep into looking into research so there's like a lot of research out there you know when, when you read like oh avocado is not good for you and then you look into the research and you understand that actually that's just completely taken out of context that was like a person who was eating 100 avocados a day was getting sick and nothing else you know what i mean and in that case yes of course avocado is not good for you it just like all depends how the research is conducted i am doing this now which is the beige maxi powder it's a very deep color it's what i use in the summer but since i've just gone back from holiday which you can't really see right now on the camera i think i look quite pale actually but i'm not i feel like i'm quite tan at the moment so this is the look that i'm going for actually like when it comes to beauty products obviously i will link all these products that i'm using below this is kind of my routine I alternate between using this when I want to look like quite muted and chic or like when I want to do a lot more makeup I go with this hourglass I'll link them both below this is like a full-on palette and it's also quite deep love the product so love them both I know that already we probably have some black fly fried black Friday almost black Friday offers when it comes to beauty as well so I'll link below everything that I can find for you guys to see and use etc and make the most out of but don't forget, there is a blog post on my blog with all the best Black Friday codes, sales, offers. I think I spent like, well, not just me, my whole team together with joint forces. We spent a lot of time. I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix powder with my Chanel fluffy brush. We spent weeks searching the best deals because you know what? It is not easy to find like the good stuff. Sometimes there's just like a lot of rubbish. Can we agree on that? So we did like this whole blog post we spent a lot of time and obviously i think black friday is now in a week or so right the cyber week in general but there's something exciting for you guys to know even though not all discounts are live yet i have put the ones that are live so you guys can go and make the most out of it now before it sells out but we will every single day keep adding the new sales so what i would do if i was you i would go and bookmark that blog post and every morning go and check it out to see what's new like like you can go and check it out every morning at like 10 a.m central european time to see what else has landed like to sales i'm doing the refi brow what is it called sculpt i think brow sculpt yeah right and uh, yeah that's what we will be doing from 
like, well, I don't know if you've already checked it out, but if you go there today on the blog, you'll be able to see it. There'll be lots of offers already and we will keep adding and adding. And I'll be sharing some of my favorite outfits as well on my Insta stories. I will share everything. I have been sharing already because I know that like some people are already buying Christmas gifts, which is where discounts especially get in handy. Can we agree on that? I'm next gonna use this Kosas uh, Total Skin Reset. I love this because it gives me that natural dewy look. And it smells good, but not artificial and it's not too strong. It's quite natural and nice. Don't know how to explain it. Now, so we put a little, little, little tiny bit of blush. I'll go for something from the hourglass. Just a bit, you know? Here we go. Done. Eyeshadow. Not a lot again. Sticking with the same theme. Your girl loves her MAC palettes. Now this one, I know it looks a bit like it's been through a lot, but it has been through Fashion Week. So that's already a lot, to be honest with you guys. I'm gonna use these like natural taupey brownie shades, you know, and just do a tiny little bit. Wow, it's very pigmented. Obviously, we're gonna properly blend it all in. I just apply it with this brush. Nothing sparkly for this morning. We're going to the lab. I'm gonna blend it in with the Chanel Fluffy brush. When did I buy this? I bought it like a while ago because I think this kind of came out around the time with the Barbie movie. So you can imagine. So I I don't know if this is still gonna be available, but I'll try and find it and link it below for you guys. I know that there was like a pink, a yellow, there were like quite fun colors of these. And then I'm gonna use the flat fluffy side of it for the lower part of upper lid. Does that make sense? I hope so. And I will put a tiny bit of shadow that now I need like a closer mirror for. And also I have one of my favorite, 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 favorite ever eyeliner pencils. I'll show it to you. I'm sure you've seen it before. I bought this. How do I end up doing this? Look at this. I hope I don't put it all over my face. So this eye pencil I bought it many times is the Chanel Stylo. It's a waterproof stylo in this kind of reddish color. Eros. So this is gonna be the liner. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. Only on the upper lid because it's quite reddish. I feel like if I add some to the lower lid, it can look like I cried because it's quite red. Love it. Can you see? It looks a lot, but it's really not. Then as a base for my mascara, I'm actually gonna use the white base. This is like takes care of your lashes, but also it obviously makes them look thicker and bigger and all of that good stuff that we like. I am a true and true natural lash girly. I'm not um, nothing against some of my friends. They wear like fake lashes, etc. They find it easier for waking up and kind of looking put together. For me, I'll tell you something very honestly. When I was 18, I tried once, you know, those fake eyelashes that go like one on one. And um, I just found it that it looked so not me. It kind of, I felt like they made me look a bit older and not fresh. So I don't think that they suit me. Like for example, some of my friends, Friends who have like blue eyes they look so good on them and maybe I'm like too dark eyebrows as well so you know like if I say I don't like something or I don't do something or even if I don't say it we can see it it could just be a personal preference mascara is the gucci beauty one i love it you guys know it there is no need even to mention that because it's insane so good especially when applied over like a layer of this layer that i applied i will link all the products i'm using below as well as you'll probably be able to find them on the blog if we can find them in some good deals Wow, this is so good. Also, my lashes have grown because of the everything that I've been doing. That's that. The only thing left for me to do are the lips. I brought a few different lip products. Um, actually, they're all by Chanel. Here we go. Shall I show you? So first one is the Rouge Coco Balm. It's the one that uh, Sophia Ritchie wore at her wedding day, like the light pink. The other one is Rouge Alou in like this kind of beautiful nude color. It's too nude now that I'm a bit tan. And the third one, you've seen me use this a lot. I don't know if this is actually even produced anymore. Looks like this. But I think I'm gonna go for this because I think with what I've done, on makeup i need something pinky yeah this looks really good i'll get out a little bit so you guys can see it so now we gotta get dressed and we need to have a coffee okay guys for the first time ever i'll be wearing my chanel 22 i'm actually very excited about it i'm wearing also the chanel jeans and this is like a basic t-shirt like cotton black i'll see what i'll have on top yet i'm still undecided so should i show you what's in this bag then i have time to eat all okay so we have my wallet we have the chanel brushes because if i want to retouch makeup this is perfect 
perfect and it's already in a case. I have a hair clip because I have no idea to what extent we're gonna be in the lab. I have my fragrance, you guys know this, one of my favorite autumnal fragrances, Cormando. I haven't actually applied it this morning because this is not my final outfit, but mm, just makes my day better already, even this early in the morning. I have a Summer Fridays lip balm, vanilla, my favorite. I have the Chanel lipstick that I'll be wearing and I have a MAC powder for the retouch in case I need it and I have my phone which is here so that's that now the bag is empty now we have to fill it back in I don't think I'll need anything oh almost lost the powder okay I don't think we need it's not almost lost powder I have no idea where it went under the bed okay got it so now I actually need to figure out what I'll be wearing because that's a very big question at the moment Guys, just picked my lab coat. Look at this. So we are gonna spend a day with like research and development. Love, love that I get my own little personalized white lab coat. Okay guys, this was like so interesting for me at least because I got to like learn so much more about the skincare and products and active ingredients and the process of aging and now we're heading for lunch which is also very much fun for me. Also guys, look at everybody's Chanel umbrellas, they're so fabulous. The lunch setup is so beautiful, you know, look at this, love it and it's some sort of kind of like an art gallery. We are now in these, like, as you can see, cubicles, about to do some testing of products to yes, understand yes, yes. blindly everything. Exciting. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Good morning everybody, it's a new day and I have to tell you Paris has been so gloomy and moody that I'm basically wearing my outfit with a knit over it, my cake knit that seems like it's all I've been wearing non-stop but it is true, I love it very much you guys, if I recommend something like this and I wear it all the time, trust me on this one so I just basically got dressed, it's quite early in the morning, it's 7.15 I have a lot of work to do in Paris, I have some meetings with some of my old friends like brand friends <laughs> kind of thing from when I lived here and like a few beauty treatments and things and I have a job at like 8 a.m. so we're getting things done I also might even attempt to do a little bit of shopping today so I'll bring you guys with me and that's basically that I just thought I'd update you I'd say hi and yeah yesterday you guys could have seen we spent a whole day with Chanel at Pantone at their laboratories and it was mind-blowing first of all guys the amount of information that you can get from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. It felt a little bit like back in the days when I was at uni and I have to be very honest, I used to love the campus life. I didn't live in campus, as in like sleep in campus. I never missed a lecture because I just loved the student life. It was the best. And yesterday was a little bit like that. It was partially scholar so that we could actually understand the mechanism of work and active ingredients and a lot of like different extraction methods and different sort of like very specific molecular chains that were getting extracted and divided from the others not to go too technical but yeah basically there was a lot of learning in order to understand better so that I can then tell you guys better about skincare and kind of gain the general knowledge which I'm so grateful for because I feel like knowledge is one thing that brands don't have to really invest in us but for me it's the best investment when it happens because I can share so much so I think I'll like try and share a lot of it with you guys in this video. One of the main products that we were discovering is this product and I've actually discovered it before. It's the Sublimage L'Extrac de Nuit 
Lecrin. I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it, but you know, I tried. This one is a limited edition bottle. The reason why I knew this product before is because I was recommended it for my skin back in Mykonos when I went with Chanel in, was it July? I can't really remember what month it was, but the lady that was kind of examining my skin and telling me what she thinks I should be doing said that when I try this, it will be like overnight facial in a bottle and it's so precious and I'm going to show it to you when I unbox it later. We're actually going to change the hotel. I think I'm going to stay in Paris two more nights actually. I thought it was going to be zero nights, then I thought it was going to be one more night. Now I'm thinking it's going to be two more nights. So yeah, I think I'm just going to take you with me. Guys, how long has it been since I had or wore my hair straight, like fully straight? I actually kind of miss it a bit. Paris is so beautiful and sunny. Look at this. Ah, uh, love it. Also, they started putting up all the different Christmas decorations. I think they started putting them up yesterday. Everything is so beautiful, I have to be honest. I'm loving it. So like sunny and crisp. Yesterday was raining. Today's gorgeous. Look at there, like Bouchon, all Christmassy. Even before I lived in Paris, I had quite a few Decembers in Paris, like where I come and go for Christmas, ice skating at Plaza Atene during Vlogmas. I don't know if you guys remember. Also, let me know below what you think about the straight hair. It looks so much longer when it's straight. Anyway, yeah, so I had lots of like uh, Christmases here and it's just always so special in Paris, I have to be honest. I'm actually going to Chanel boutique and there is a secret passage from Ritz to Cambon and I know that because Gabrielle Chanel, she used to actually sleep at the Ritz even though she had an apartment in Cambon above the boutique and where the couture studio is. So she had like a secret passage to go to the Ritz and now I'm gonna use that passage. It's pretty cool. Also guys, this bag, honestly, I think this, the Chanel 22 and my Louis Vuitton squeeze are just like two bags bags currently. Many of you told me that you also love the Louis Vuitton squeeze and I really love it. I have it in burgundy as you know. I love the brown and the gray. So beautiful. Also I'm 15 minutes early for my appointment with my essay Chanel but well if she can't see me I will just uh, browse around because the cruise collection just landed so let's go have a look. Every time I come to my changing room it's like a little very 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 exciting situation ready for me. <sighs> I love this beauty case. I actually really like this. I had it on my wish list. Also this. Okay. Oh, there's some really good stuff. Okay, I'm really happy now. This is not a bag. It's a beauty case. So it's like for all of your vanity pieces. It's really good. Out of the day, I changed my shoes into flats. This is very elegant. I don't know where to start. There's also a bunch of really cute stuff here. Like this t-shirt. Loving this swimming suit. Also this knit. Okay, there's a lot of really nice stuff. Let's get trying on. Okay, obsessed with these silk pants. You know, I like this kind of vibe. Really cute. I mean, very summery, but love them. Okay, guys, I love the dress. The shoes I was examining. They're cute. So it's all together. You can't remove the sock. The problem is you can't remove the bow either. And I don't know, I think. What do you think? What do we think about this set? This was like one of the cutest looks from the collection, I think. Honestly, my essay, she thinks I'm skinnier than I am. She broke me all 34. Everything looks so tight everywhere. I need 36, but I think these jeans actually have quite a nice fit. Though I don't love the color, but they're beautiful. And the swimming suit is 100% yes. I just need a better size. Loving this little t-shirt. So cute. And I love the material. Underneath, I got the swimming suit, but the guys, I love of this knit. It's so dainty and so beautiful. Okay, these are the ballerinas I'm loving. They remind me a lot of my the world ones. So, so, so cute. So comfy also. Love it. And obviously, as you can see, the sock is removable. I love these shoes. Yeah. So beautiful. Honestly, how does a person that apparently doesn't like pink anymore keep falling in love with like these cute little pink sets and cute pink things? Generally, I do not understand at all. Guys, we are currently still in Paris, but changed hotels, as you can probably see, because I wanted to actually enjoy two more days in Paris. The truth is, you know everything, basically. What happened is we came 
to Paris for Chanel, went to Pantin, where we could, as you could have seen, experience all the like sublimage science, which was truly, truly incredible. What an incredible experience. Then that night we went to dinner and the next day I kind of like just like packed and stuff like that. I was going to leave the same day to London. However, then I went shopping, as you could have seen. So got lots of different things. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to include everything I got in this video or in one of the next ones, but there's not going to be many next ones because, well, it's Vlogmas soon. So I can't really pre-film in advance videos for December. It is what it is going to be every day. Day for day. Anyway, so when shopping, I'm going to figure out when I'm going to show you the shopping. I got home. I had the best night. I had a bath. I checked in Lutetia Hotel. I'm going to give you my room tour because it's insane. Like, look at the view. The view is just beautiful. There's Eiffel Tower on the right. There's obviously a beautiful Persian building. So basically had Little Apple vegetarian burger, which is like the most delicious. I might have the same tonight. I don't know. I'll see. It's one of my favorite delicious delivery options and I actually never ever ever do delivery. I don't know who remembers but Vlogmas 2021. Philippe and I had food poisoning from ordering something on delivery so after that we've never basically ordered it again. And yeah I've actually ordered because I love this so much and I don't even know if it's an actual restaurant. I think it's just a delivery service. Well so that being said, I had a bath, I had a burger, and went to bed and just fell asleep. It was so good. This morning I slept in, so I woke up at 8, had a breakfast, and basically just enjoyed like catching up, working, and delivering some stuff. Then I was like shooting some pictures around Paris, not around Paris actually, around my room because my room's so beautiful. I'll show you now. And that's basically it. So now I am going to give you my room tour. So I made some mess. When I say I made some mess, I mean I made some mess. There's on my computer playing like some cozy autumnal music you probably can see it it's on youtube and here's like some of the outfits that i was like changing and planning and working on obviously my kate knit that i love guys like this is literally the best knitwear that i have and the other kate knit and my chanel 22 and over there my kelly bag this product here is okay i don't know if you can see it but it's the sisley velvet nourishing body cream and since i just got back from maldives i'm tanned and my skin's a little bit dry so i was moisturizing heavily last night over here is the bathroom that is so beautiful this is where i have had my bath yesterday obviously it's gonna be echoey a little bit here and then there's like this beautiful beautiful balcony let me show it to you ah it's so cold and wet and i'll have to get out actually at some point outside because i need to go and buy an extra suitcase after my shopping session yesterday wait you can't see anything now okay now we can so we have beautiful paris over there the boulevard and there and obviously the eiffel tower which normally you can see and we'll probably see it tonight but you know, so I need to just cross the road, you see, from here to there where Beaumarchais is to get a suitcase, but it's raining so much that I'm not so excited. So over here, we have my new Sublimage Extreme. Let me try and show it to you a little bit in the mirror, but this is the serum, and this is a limited edition packaging. Look at it, it's so gorgeous. I mean, this is how it is usually. Obviously, it's refillable, as you guys know, but this is the limited edition one. It's like a leather case. It's so beautiful, so, so, so beautiful, and you probably already know by now that I got the vanity case from Chanel because I wanted it for so long so I think this is gonna be so pretty all of it together my slightly little bit messy bedroom but it's okay and then when you pass through here there are my Chanel shopping bags which I need to somehow figure out where I'm gonna put and then we have a staircase okay and over here is a huge sitting area actually and look how nice is all of this beautiful stuff that I received from the hotel so we have some fruits we have some macaroons a bottle of Ruinart I mean, honestly, this is like the best of the best. It's not just any champagne. And then there's all this chocolate to be broken, which I haven't broken. I was there filming some stuff for Fendi. And this is the bag that I want to wear. And here, there's another balcony where you can basically have breakfast in the morning with the Eiffel Tower view. And it's crazy that it's almost December and it's autumnal. I don't know what to tell you, but it's so beautiful in this hotel. I can't even tell you. It's gorgeous. So you guys know how much I love like basic t-shirts. I'm wearing like a basic t-shirt. I'm wearing baggy jeans that you guys always ask me for. You'll see those in probably one of the next videos because I will show them to you. My hair is still relatively straight, right? And the light is like kind of strange so it looks even lighter than it is. Also, can we just discuss these micro little tiny bananas? How cute are these? So now we need to brave the weather. You guys need to come with me and we're gonna go to Beaumarche. But even if I just need to go and buy a suitcase, I don't know if I would rather get in an Uber and go to the other side and go to the Remoa store because somehow for me personally going through like a shopping mall is just not the best experience. I don't know like I'm not the one to do it. Let's give myself a little pistachio macaroon mm, as a treat before actually doing it you know but yeah 
I have to put on some coats. And honestly, it's literally a three minute walk. I'm not even three minute walk. So I'll ask an umbrella from the hotel and then I'll do it. And then I'll have to pack because I want to again have like a really nice chill night here before going to bed. And it's already 3.30. Fun times. Guys, quick little fit check. I don't know about you, but I am obsessed with this coat, which I don't know why the sleeves are inside out. Honestly, one of the best, best, best coats that I have. It's so cozy. It's like a little teddy. I will link it below if it's still available. I got it last year this time. Hopefully it should be available. But it's literally the coat coziest so fit track the sweater of this video this i let my hair inside because i don't want it to get wet and all oh this is so cozy like a little teddy bear now let's go we're here i went in it was absolutely impossible i remembered why i never really shop at Bomarche. it's like packed i guess also saturday in the afternoon christmas almost is not the best time to go in because like it's literally packed and it's not pleasant to be honest but i know that they have one of the best christmas shops ever in fact i even bought all of my christmas decoration is from bomarche so i really 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 love it i would have wanted to go to the christmas shop but i don't think right now is the best situation especially because i have so many other things that i have to bring i'm not gonna bring like a huge garland you know what i mean but i know that for fact their website, which I will link below, has incredible private sale right now that started because I checked it out today and it's really great. So I didn't buy a suitcase, which I desperately need because they didn't have it. That, yeah, that part I forgot to mention, but I wanted to stay around and kind of chill and see it. That mission failed. So the plan is I need to get an Uber, but I need to first get out of that busy road. I'm going to jump in an Uber, go to Faborg Saint Honoré and get a suitcase there. And that will be much better. Anyway, we are basically outside of my hotel. Look how beautiful and i think my balcony is let me try to figure it out i know which one it is look this is my room the one above the letters so this is my balcony upstairs and these are two balconies downstairs right how cute love it Guys, I think you can guess where we are. Having I mean, a suitcase quest turned into a Mew Mew cute look quest. I love this look already. With these loafers, right? What do you guys think? I'm trying that as well, but I need a skirt different size. If I can find this online, I'll link it. You guys can check it out as well. Okay, ignore the knit, okay, and the mess. But which do you prefer? I think this one's maybe a little bit too schoolgirl, and the other set that I will be able to wear most, so. Guys, I'm back from my shopping mission, which was so unsuccessful, but successful that I'm no worse. Basically, I wanted to buy a suitcase. And what can I tell you besides that they didn't have a suitcase? It was like they sold out all the suitcases at the Beaumarchais. How's that even possible? So I ended up going to the other side of the city. It took me half an hour to get there. Then I stopped by Miu Miu because I really wanted to get something. Got it. Went to get a suitcase. Came back. So that's why it was unsuccessful, just because it's raining. I'm starving, it's 7.20 now, and I literally want to finish packing and go to bed before eight. I have so many things planned, but I have to pack. And in order to pack, I need to unbox this. So I have to do it now, now or never, right? For a little disclaimer, usually I get like a lot of things at Chanel, but they are way more expensive than in this shopping spree because I would normally get bags. So you guessed right, in this haul, there will be no bags actually. I'm just gonna show you a few of the beads and bobs that I got from the cruise collection. I'm gonna be very honest, the Cruise Collection is literally my least favorite collection that Chanel came out with in a very long time. I just think it's so pink in not a good way. I love pink, but I just miss the good old like black and white Chanel. I know it's Cruise, but there were times when they were like jackets, like good jackets in Cruise Collections, and I just didn't like it at all. So I got some basics that I felt like were quite good. I got some beauty bits and bobs, and I wanted to show you what I got because I think Chanel Beauty is literally exceptional and now that i even learned more about it i am absolutely obsessed obsessed with chanel beauty i want to use literally everything from the brand that's how good i think it is without a further ado let's start uh, first things first i wanted to show you beauty bits that i got now chanel and rue Bon is my favorite and they actually have christmas packaging as you can probably see which is a black camellia here we go and there's like a little dangly thing on the bow and the dangly thing 
think is like basically number five. Talking about which, there's few things that I got. I'm not even going to unbox this. I got a spare one. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite fragrance. It's somewhere here. It is the Coromando. I love it. I bought it. I need it. I got also a number five eau de toilette. I'm not a number five lover. Like it's not my, let's say, go-to fragrance, but the eau de toilette, I really, really like. Probably more than any other. I also like all the fresh. It just smells really nice. Love it. Really beautiful. I think I should have one bag just for rubbish. Okay, I'll have to figure that out as we go. Then I also got the eye makeup remover. I really like this one. It's quite gentle on the eyes. Okay. Then we got number one. This is hydrating serum for the skin. I feel like, I don't know if I told you this already, but I feel like my skin is quite dry at the moment after the holidays. So I just want something that's quite easy to apply. And this is actually quite, can you see? This is quite hydrating. It looks like this. Then I also got the number five body oil. I actually have this. I put it in my bath always. It's literally the most moisturizing body oil. It's so beautiful. And like I said, I'm not like the number one fan of the number five scent but the body oil in the bath just smells so clean so loving this i hope the lights not changing too much i had two lights already die basically on me now i got something from i believe christmas collection from chanel beauty oh how beautiful you can actually choose the format or the print on the highlighter. I took this warm golden color. Love it. I got a ton, a ton, a ton of samples and I need these because when I'm traveling, they're super useful. What is this? I got a tiny little mirror as a gift. This is so nice for the bag and it actually has the Sublimage Bunny uh, thingy roll at the back. I also got Sublimage, the ultimate creme. This is so good. Number five, creme de co and it's like a little charm i think the christmas tree charm it's just such a cute gift this is why also it's so nice to actually shop in the boutiques because you get to have all of these gifts and this is the last gift that i got this is their christmas pouch the lady told me for the christmas edition but i will not be needing it really them oh it's so cute i was gonna say i will not be needing it and you will find out soon why i don't actually know where to start okay i'll start with this just so that i can stop hinting what i meant when i said i probably know what i meant because you guys are clever cookies so i told you there's the christmas packaging and it's so cute basically you get this this can be like a choker i wouldn't necessarily but there's like this kind of little metal thing so ladies and gentlemen let's unbox this more of these little charms which are actually making it quite difficult to unbox this one is a black camellia with a pearl in the middle very excited about this probably one of my favorite things and i know many of you will be like what this is weird but i love it it's a little vanity this i'm actually gonna use it as vanity it's not gonna be one of those beauty bags that people wear as vanity nothing against that though people should do whatever they want for their own money this i am literally going to put all of my beauty pieces right away inside what's really nice is that inside it looks like this and it has a little mirror even at the back really cute and a little pocket two pockets in fact really really cute so that was the first thing what's in here i have no idea what's in any of these well i know what the shoes are okay let's do next one more black mirror charm so in this next one i believe is just a lot of basics so i love when they give me these specific pouches they're the best so i got a top from the cruise collection and let me tell you something when i saw it and i tried it on i was like when am i gonna wear this i literally am stepping away from the color completely i'm not a fan of color anymore especially not this kind of bright vivid pastel color well you why, why am i doing this you will see it on a try on the buttons are absolutely Absolutely ridiculously stunning as you can see but I think I'm gonna wear this when I go to get some winter Sun away and yeah I'm basically planning to go away for some winter Sun so I got a matching cardigan and this is a really beautiful light pink and mint green cardigan for when I want a touch of color which isn't that often but when it does happen it's nice okay then I got a bunch of basics that I think are gorgeous starting with this white I love this material Material. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a ripped cotton t-shirt that has like a very not like too obvious CC logo and something that I think I will wear so much. It's a very classic cropped black and white cardigan. I would love to have this as an actual jacket, like a tweed jacket, but no, because they don't have any like tweed jackets. So I got that and I really like it. This is what I'm going to show you next. It's probably my 
my favorite piece that I got from the whole entire collection. It's like a knit, a beautiful black long sleeve knit with a very, very dainty CC logo here. I love it because it's a perfect layering piece. I love it because of the very dainty CC bit in front here. And I think it's just a perfect kind of classic piece to have. As you could understand, I got a pair of shoes and I'll tell you exactly why I got these. I would love to own a burgundy box letter vintage Kelly. Like it would have to be like very vintage, very old burgundy box in vintage. I am obsessed with, I think it's so perfect. I just need to find it. And I would like to have a shoes with it. I mean, when I say I would just have to find it, I might have found it, okay? you guys we'll just have to wait and see so you will probably understand that i decided to get these loafers i just love loafers guys the hermes loafers okay i wore them i think like more than 50 times already and i only got them like last month i wear them every single day so i decided to get something in a burgundy color because also this will go so well with my loewe squeeze bag i love the loewe squeeze bag it's in my top three favorite bags i have it's amazing it's literally one of my favorite bags i own i will link it below because i think it's the bag of the season i think now you can understand why i've got another suitcase right are we down to our last bag so here i have something that it was not like planned because a lot of these pieces were planned because i looked at the cruise collection and i was like i like these pieces these i don't like so i got them so there's two hangers i don't really use these in my wardrobe to be honest but whatever it's very nice so i got in here ah oh, dust bag in a dust bag something in pink just when i said that i hate pink but literally like the whole collection was pink so i got very cute crop stripey candy like jacket with the cc buttons and i got a matching skirt with the skirt I got in size 38 and I made like an A-line skirt out of it because I prefer it that way than how it was designed originally. Maybe I should start buying couture. Anyway, I basically really really like the set together and I think it'd be nice if we do end up going to Dubai this New Year's Eve. I think this will be one of the cute looks to wear like as a total look as a set. It's just with denim as well, light pink and like strappy top. I think this looks so whole cute and baggy denim okay so the skirt is getting tailored but this is everything that i got what is your favorite and the least favorite piece from this haul please let me know in the comments below so yeah i honestly didn't plan to shop this much but my excuse is that i basically i wanted to not shop because I have lots of orders coming that you're gonna see in the next video for my Black Friday stuff. And the truth is that I don't really need anything. But I saw all of these people where had to tell Chanel when we went to Pantan that I got so inspired and I just wanted all of the pieces that they wore. They all look fabulous, like the Chanel team, you guys. They're the chicest, coolest people. And every time I see them, I'm like, stop giving so many compliments because you literally sound weird because they look incredibly chic they're always wearing chanel obviously they are just so well dressed oh my god look at my little chanel vanity they're just so beautiful and this is packed already while i was talking to you guys so truly i really really got inspired by them yes i blame it on the team because they always look so cool so now what i'm gonna do is i am gonna order my favorite burger again i'm gonna eat the same thing that i ate last night yep because that's how good it is i also got today when i went to buy a suitcase i got a new phone case this is from Remola because one of you guys recommended it to me when I asked you which phone case I should get and someone said get a Remola phone case and I really do like it but the really not so great one that my sister bought me I then realized is so good because it had like elevated this part around the camera so your camera would never really get that dirty when it's in your bag or in your hands so now I have no idea maybe I should go back to wearing like an ugly phone case you know what so annoying my sister is always right like always right it's incredible it's actually incredibly annoying this is so moisturized how is that even possible it's just like such a thin little and smells great love it anyway i'm now getting distracted by myself i am gonna say love you lots i'm gonna leave you guys here because i literally have four percent on my camera battery I need to pack. We're leaving at 7 a.m. I know, so much going on. Now it's at 5%. It's charging itself. Or it's my energy. No, now it's at 4%. Okay. So basically, I am going to order my burger. And by the time that it arrives, I want everything to be packed. So I can first have a shower, go to bed, watch my favorite YouTubers, and eat that delicious, delicious burger. That's for me a perfect night in you guys. Anyway, love you lots. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.